It's Holy Wednesday, and the psalm appointed for today is Psalm 70. Here's what the first two verses have to say. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who seek my life be ashamed and altogether dismayed. Let those who take pleasure in my misfortune draw back and be disgraced. Sometimes it's hard to recognize when we read scripture and find something weird. There's this protective case around it, keeping us from interacting with it in a real way. For me, occasionally, something just stands out and hits me wrong. When I look at these passages, I think, the psalm writer just asked God to let someone be disgraced. Is that what God is about? Taking sides just because someone on God's team asks for it? Invariably, when King David comes up, someone will always say, well, the Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. This translation of that passage from the book of 1 Samuel, which was written in Hebrew, has actually been shown to be pretty far off base. A lot of Hebrew scholars agree that a better translation is that in David, God chose a man according to God's own will, which ends up saying really nothing about David's character and everything about God's choice. The Bible, and especially the Old Testament, is full of stories about people interacting with God and getting to know God over time. They don't always get things right. More often than not, they make a lot of mistakes. And one of the beautiful things about the Bible is that it gives us a front row seat to the evolution of how people understand and interact with God. God doesn't take sides, but people assume God does. God doesn't love some people more than others, but people act like God does. God doesn't let calamity or harm or disgrace come upon someone just because they are your enemy or because you think differently than they do. But that doesn't stop people from asking God to do just that. King David was in the process of figuring all that out and it's pretty cool that we get to watch it throughout the Psalms. Perspective matters a lot, though, because we also have the words of Jesus, particularly during Holy Week, echoing in our ears, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. In the heat of the moment of pain and suffering, in the midst of great sacrifice, Jesus is still the servant he learned to be, caring for those who are in the process of killing him. We all want to take revenge now and then. We all get angry. We will all probably wish that God would smite someone we don't like, but just because David does it in the Bible doesn't mean it's right. I love what the prophet Maya Angelou said. Do the best you can until you know better. And when you know better, do better.